Hey y'all, and thanks for stopping by Design by Kathy. Today I'm going to do a chain pull, and it's going to be uh, quite a bit different than the ones I've done before. Um, this one we're going to do a lot of layers and a lot of uh, a lot of pulls using one chain, but um, it uh, it starts off a little rough, uh, looking a little rough, I should say. But uh, you're going to want to watch to the end to see how this turns out. So let's get started. To start pouring my background with this this is a hunter green and then I've mixed up uh, some deep burgundy and this is called Lisa pink actually for my the chain pull part I want to have plenty of paper towels around because I'm gonna wipe my chain off each each time now what the, I think one of the key things to doing a chain pull over um, paint something you've poured is you don't want this to be too thick, your, your base layer. Because you're always gonna pull a little more paint or some of the, the background paint down through along with your, your, your drag, your pull. So the thing is you don't want to have it so much that it totally distorts your t your total piece here. So I'm gonna see if I can just do a, a nice thin-ish layer. I want it thick enough to still have, you know, good bit of glide to it, but not so thick that it is going to totally distort my chain pull. So I'm gonna take my burgundy and I've got this one little fairly short chain that I'm going to dip down into my little burgundy, my burgundy mixture, which is mixed the way I normally mix any of my paints, the two to one. I'm gonna keep one little loose tail here. I've got a little bit of pink so then we're gonna just move this on down. I don't wanna drag it all the way down the canvas, just across what we have here, just like so. I'm gonna wipe it off. I'm gonna keep using the same, same chain, but I wanna wipe all the green and the other, the pink that may be on there. I wanted just a little bit of pink to come down through what will hopefully look like our petal. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's meeting up right here with my, with the chain, end to end, so to speak. Just want a little pink throughout. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. Now, as you'll see with these first uh, first pulls with the the chain, it's going to look a little rough. It looks it looks a little bit rough, but uh, again, the secret um, one thing is not have your background too thick. Uh, in fact, even as thin as I poured it on here, could have gone actually a little thinner, or maybe just just actually just a straight coat of just regular paint on the background.
So just continued to, to dip and pull the chain and as you will notice the look starts to change. It starts to take on a really really nice shape, really cool shape and just keep dipping, keep pulling your chain and keep adding more until your flower starts to take on a really cool shape. Now here is where I started to realize that overlaying the chain on top of the, the, the pulls that I had already done started to give really, really cool def definition. Layering it just really started to bring it to life. So just keep layering your chain pulls over each other and you'll start to notice that they will really start to take on the shape of petals. And you've got the, you know, the green in there and You've got dark and light, so it helps it, the definition to stand out even more. I decided to add a little bit of the pink to see if that would give it a little more contrast. Um, as you can see, just it overpowered to me a little too much, but I did want to have that little bit of a lighter in there to give it a little more contrast.
So since I felt like that was kind of taken over, the, the pink was just standing out entirely too much, I went back to the burgundy and overlaid the burgundy over the pink. Still doing the same thing, just setting my chain, pulling it towards the little the end, and dragging it off. As you can see, I'm laying my chain down in some little different shapes than initially when I started in the very beginning to get my very first first row of the petals going. I'm laying the chain down in just a little bit different, you know, di different shapes, uh, not just a straight loop. You can do loops and then just kind of lay it on, but then pull again towards your end. Overlaying back over the pink gave it even a little more definition being able to you know show a little more dark and light and just to catch a little more definition in there So as you can see, this continues to tape, take a shape and have just enough of that pink showing through to give it that nice contrast. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate your likes, comments, and shares. And hey, if you've just stopped by Designed by Kathy, I hope that you will subscribe as well because I love my subscribers. And I hope you all have a fabulous day. And I hope you'll give this a try. Don't give up. Just keep on dipping and dragging your chain until it, it'll do one of two things. It'll either take a shape that you love or you can, may have to start all over. But that's okay too. Never be afraid to scrap the project and start over. Just don't scrap it too soon because you never know what it's going to turn out as. You all have a great day.